Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As you told in the beginning, is now and ever shall the world of God. Almighty and eternal Father, giver of life and source of everything that is good and beautiful, we thank you for your love and we thank you for your mercy. Right from the beginning of time, you have gathered your people around you to worship you and to glorify you. You planted the seed of love in our hearts that we may love one another and live together. Today we are gathered as your people in the archdiocese of Lagos to celebrate our oneness, to celebrate our vocation to Christian living. As we begin this ceremony today, we humbly ask you to bless this gathering with your loving presence and grant, grant that all our proceedings, all our words, our thoughts and our actions will glorify your most holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Let your holy angels be around the four corners of this assembly and grant that all that we do will bring blessings to us and continue to bring development and growth to your church especially in the Archdiocese of Lagos, through Christ our Lord, Amen. our Lady, help of Christians. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that is to say, we shall have the President of the Lagos Archdiocese Lady Council do us a welcome first, before the chairperson of the occasion. After all, he is the most uh, Lady President of the day. So please join me to welcome to the microphone, Mr. For this task. 
I congratulate all awardees. Your hard work and dedication to the things of God have brought you thus far. The Lord rewards all the good works done secretly in public. So today we celebrate all of you. My job here is to assist the late in raise the much needed funds for the various projects and to launch the Lady Korea magazine, I encourage you all to be generous, most generous in your giving today. Our theme is politics and the common good in the contemporary Nigeria, Catholic social teaching standpoint. This topic is very relevant considering the political situation in the country today. Please permit me to read a short version of this text. First and foremost, we must remind ourselves of what the Catholic social teaching is all about. The teaching talks and addresses the issue of equity, fairness, and the rule of law. Having established that, I'm convinced that the questions we have been raising are A. What does democracy represent, if not the straight cardinal words? Equity, fairness, and rule of law. B. Does the Nigerian brand of democracy, or perhaps civil rule since 1999, bear any semblance to the tripod of equity, fairness, and the rule of law, upon which true democracy tenets are rested? Your response to this particular question is as good as mine. C. Of what use is of what use is what we call democracy if the three items are missing? D. Can we get out of the woods in Nigeria? Let me attempt to express my views on these questions. The Catholic Church stands out in her bid to help Nigeria and of course other emerging democracies to get it right as far as democratic tenets are concerned. Hence, the lofty ideals embedded in the standpoint. However, there are core factors that are central to the actualization of issues of equity fairness and the rule of law. These are you and me, point one. Point two, our educational system. Point three, availability of viable and viral core institutions of society. Point four, our social values are they still intact in Nigeria? Point five, the interface between corruption and society, growth and development. One judge. One judge. Light of the world. With great joy in my heart, I welcome your grace, Most Reverend Dr. Alfred Adewale Martins the Catholic Archbishop of Lagos, our dear priests, religious, the chairperson of today's occasion, invited guests and my dear people of God. It is with great honor, it's a great honor for me to welcome you to Ajah Dinari today on the auspicious occasion of the opening ceremony of our annual Lady Week for the year 2023. The creation of our jardinery is worth thanking God for. Today, all of us, priests, religious, and laity, realize that we are an essential part of history that is being made as we play host to the entire Laity Council of the Archdiocese of Lagos. I want to thank you all for your perseverance and readiness to work for the spread of the Kingdom of God. I am endlessly thankful for the scale of sacrifices you have all been making and I am indeed proud of you all. As leaders of the community of God's people, much has been, so much has been entrusted to us. The people look up to us to guide and direct them. 
They have faith in us that we will not mislead them. We can not lead them to God if we do not know the way to God ourselves. It behoves us, therefore, to work more on incarnating the gospel of Christ in our own lives so that our witness to him before our brothers and sisters cannot be undermined. I implore you to ignite more sparks of fire in our various laity activities and make our archdiocese a reference point for good in Nigeria. As we find ourselves in this political season in our country, let us realize that our society is seriously sick. From the Acts of the Apostles and the Epistles, we gather that the early church concerned herself very much with the social issues of the time. We recall, among other things, the discrimination based on race and socio-economic status within the church herself, which necessitated the election of seven deacons, the convocation of the Council of Jerusalem, and the statement of St. Paul that there is no longer Jew or Greek, there is no longer slave or free, there is no longer male or female in the household of God. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. If there is anything that our country needs most at this time, it has to be social transformation. This must begin from the church. Our country is sick with a litany of multifarious illnesses. The remedy to these maladies can be found in the good people of God in the church. The time to heal our land is now. We cannot afford to wait any longer. To this end, I continue to solicit, solicit your support and cooperation and openness in sailing the ship of the good of our nation and church to a safe harbor. May God bless all your efforts and grant you the desires of your hearts. Amen. Welcome one, welcome all. Congratulations to you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, shall we very resoundingly give a warm welcome and celebrate to the microphone our Chief Shepherd, His Grace Most Reverend Dr. Alfred Adewale Martins, as he rises to give his keynote address. The Dean of the Denary, Father Akishawa, the Chaplain of the Lady Council, the Chairman of the Day, Priests, Religious, Presidents of the Lady Council, all other members of the Executive, the awardees of today, and all of you good people of God present, I greet you all, and I thank the Lord for our opportunity to gather today. I have an address that is written, it is in the program, but I've been told that uh, I've heard a number of times that uh, we want to do this in a very snappy manner, and I would therefore urge you to please create some time to read the address as it is written there, in order that we may perhaps take one or two things that will be beneficial to our discussion or the discussion today around politics and common good in contemporary Nigeria, Catholic social teachings. I am delighted that the chairperson today has spoken so very eloquently about many of the things that need to be done in order that common good can be achieved. The common good is that which separates, the idea of the common good is that which separates the Catholic Church and its teaching with regards to how society should be organized. And I can only ask that we pay attention to the family and the role that it can play in helping to bring up the idea of common good in children within the families. And that individuals, as we grow, we continue to recognize that common good is about working for the good of everyone rather than for selfish personal interests. 
that seems to be one of the major things of our time. And I ask that as we overcome that self-interest in favor of common good, that we will give whatever it takes that the welfare of all can be uppermost in our minds and our hearts. Of course, we expect the leaders who have presented themselves for, uh, for election will take the lead. However, whether they take the lead or not, let us also recognize the fact that we have responsibilities and we shall be judged in our individual, in our individual capacities, irrespective of what the leaders do. Of course, that is not to excuse the leaders. That is not in any way to, to give them a new way to escape from their responsibilities. Because we shall continue to demand from them the assurance that the common good is realized. So with all these words, I expect you again, I ask that you please find some time to read what I've written down. And I believe that uh, uh, the conversation should go on in our different societies and in our different uh, uh, fora in which we gather as laity of the archdiocese. Once again, congratulations for the beginning of this week. Uh, as we pray that the Lord will see you through to a successful completion of the week and the success of the initiative that the Laity Council have started in regards to helping people to learn more about the faith and to live the faith. May God bless you all and may God bless the awardees as they receive the awards today. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, representative should step forward, okay? Uh, very Reverend Father Kingsley, or you say what you mean? Next is Reverend Father Sebastian Adigwe. Please. Emergency photographers would like you to please give some distance. Only the official photographer is permitted around here. Please. For Father, in case the parishioners get messy for us, visit the finance table. Thank you. Reverend Father Joseph Moye. That's the parish priest of uh, Holy Rosary Arida. Reverend, Reverend Father Gabriel Otunaya. That's the National Sion Chaplain.